I'm waiting to see how you handle the Rockwells. <laughs> well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to Fallout 3. In our last video, we did end the day here in... I keep wanting to say Pleasantville, but it's not. It's like the Fallout evil version of Pleasantville with, with creepy Betty over here who's actually... I'm waiting to see how you handle the Rockwells. Yes, it's Stanislav Braun who's... It's all it's all creepy and horrible, but it's Tranquility Lane. That's actually where we are. And we need to deal with the Rockwells, meaning we need to go and break up their marriage. And I think the message said when I logged in without killing them. Um, oh, it's right. I'm a little girl. Hey. Nussbaum, Foster. Good day. Hi. Oh yeah, we, we made Timmy cry. Was it Timmy or Jimmy or, you know what? That, yesterday's video was, a, I feel like a long time ago to me. Okay, so here's the Rockford's house. Residence. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sweetie, how are you? I hate to break it to you, but I saw uh, your husband kissing some other woman. Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? Let's try that one. Our marriage? Oh, goodness, what kind of a question is that? Mm -hmm. Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? What a silly thing to ask about. Betty wants me to break up your marriage? What? Now that's a ridiculous thing to say. You kids need to find some different games to play. Okay, I, have to, I don't think it's gonna work and I don't wanna try it. Take care now. She said something about Mabel. Maybe I need to talk to Mabel. Was this the house with the diary? Janet's diary? It is the house with the diary. Janet Rockwell's diary. I just don't know what to do anymore. When Roger's not in that stupid basement, he's outside sweet talking that hussy, Martha Simpson. He claims there's nothing between them, but I know it's all a lie. I found a woman's pendant once on Roger's workbench, but of course I said nothing. That's me, Janet Rockwell, prim and proper housewife, living a perfect life here on Tranquility Lane. I don't, I, no, you're not. <laughs> Some days I wish I really had beat her to death with that rolling pin. Then Roger would know I'm the only girl in the world. I mean, that's kind of crazy. I'm just saying. Is this the house with the basement where I put something on the table or something like that? I feel like it might be. It is. Oh. Beautiful oh. day, isn't it? Hello, Roger. Good day to you. Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? Now see here. That's not anything <laughs> for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. Why can't people just understand that and just leave us alone? I, I don't know. Maybe because Betty wants me to break up your marriage? Now that's not funny. Not one bit. <laughs> okay. Take care now. So I need to find Martha. Or is it Mabel? There, there are too many names that just got mentioned. Hmm. Simpson, I think. Is this the hussy something Simpson? I made the music. <laughs> I feel like I'm on like a really messed up Disney ride <laughs> with the music. No, no. Why is every, I gotta find these people. Okay, there was a Mabel and I know you're not comfortable with yours. I don't want a new one. I don't even really want the one I have now. Okay, hi, Mabel. Good day to you. Can you tell me anything about the Rockwell's marriage? Well, they're just so nice, aren't they? It's good the two of them worked everything out. Hmm, what do you mean, worked everything out? Oh, I, well, I'm not one to talk, but there was that fight last year. Everyone could hear them arguing. Oh, really? Janet thought there was something going on with Roger and Martha Simpson. He eventually convinced her it wasn't true. But I've seen the way Martha looks at him. Janet may believe him, but I sure don't. <laughs> hey, thanks for the tip. Hey, maybe you should mind your own business. I mean, everybody needs a busybody in their neighborhood, right? Hey, thanks for the tip. Tip? Oh, I wouldn't call it that. Just something I heard is uh -huh. all. Uh-huh, sure. Okay. Take care now. 
Let's talk to Miss Martha over here. That hussy. <laughs> well, hi there. I just... Anyway, can you tell me anything about the Rockwell's marriage? Why are you asking me? I don't know anything. And why should I care about their marriage anyway? I don't know. Oh, come on. You know something, don't you? What's the story? Let's try it. There's no yes. story. <laughs> Never was. Roger and I... Nothing ever happened. I wanted... Oh, I don't know. I thought there was something between us. No, that's not true. I, I know there was. Oh, really? But Roger pushed me away, tried to deny it. Even Janet knew it was there. She fought with him over it. I think she still suspects something. I try to stay away from Roger, just to avoid giving her a reason to hate me more. You tried to be with her husband. I feel like she has a right to not like you, lady. Take care now. I mean, like... There was something... I love how they're confessing all of this to a child. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little girl. Like, you shouldn't be talking to me about this stuff. Okay. I feel like I did something in the basement here. And I undid it in the last video because I was not wanting to... Tr try not to do things out of order, which always fails. But I put something on Roger's desk. You place the under... I wonder if this is Janet's underwear. Lacy underwear. Hmm. Okay. Can I talk Good to day. her? Hi. Hello. Hello, sweetie. How are you? You'd better come down to the basement. There's something you need to see. What were you doing in our basement? What's down there? Just trust me. It's important. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> this is... I should not find this so amusing. Come on, come to the basement. Look, what Why just- don't you look where you're going? Why don't you just look at the desk? Look what just magically appeared. What's this? Women's clothing? Uh-huh. Down here? I know, right? What? What the hell is this? <gasps> it looks like Roger is a fan of women's clothing. Um, okay. I feel like that's going a different route. So it's not yours? Oops. What is this doing here? <laughs> well, then I guess he's cheating on you. Maybe it's his, you know, for him to wear when no one is looking. First one. My God. I knew it. I knew it. The heels of her shoes seem very pointy. gonna happen roger you son of a bitch uh oh what what did i do <laughs> you just couldn't stay away from her could you and what you didn't think i'd find out you disgust me janet what are you talking about you left her underwear on your goddamn desk roger <laughs> how stupid do you think i am i have no idea what you're talking about janet just calm down and let's work this out Mm-hmm. the hell with working this out i'm sick of you I'm staying at Mabel's tonight. Don't talk to me. Don't even look at me. I, <laughs> I, I broke up the Rockwell's marriage without killing either of them. How did it come to this? I just don't understand. I don't understand either. I don't I don't know what happened. I'm just a little girl. <laughs> like, I feel like there has to be a don't lose karma way of doing this, but is it wrong that this is just so much funnier? <laughs> It's just so ridiculous. Okay, Betty. Poor Janet and Roger. You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. Oh my gosh. I am slightly impressed. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. Okay, um, I, I did what you wanted now. You have some explaining to do. I've got to admit, this is kind of fun. What can I do next? No, we're not. I mean, look, that's funny, but like, let's not be crazy. Now what? Uh, okay, first one. It is so creepy when Betty talks like Braun. It is so creepy. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. 
What would you ask of me? Okay, what is this place? What did my father want from you? Where is my father now? Uh, let's go with what is this place? I have a feeling I'm going to get to these, obviously, before I finish this quest. Tranquility Lane was designed to be a home away from home. A new way of sustaining life after the apocalypse. Vault 112 was the prototype. We never had time to build others. As the designer of the simulation, I was given special access. Everyone else here is only subconsciously aware of the artificial reality around them. Their conscious minds accept it as fact. Why haven't you left after all this time? Let these people go. There's no reason to keep them here. You don't need to stay here. You can live in the real world. Yeah, what, what, first one. I have no desire to leave. Here, I wield more power than I could ever hope to in the outside world. And I use that power to amuse myself. Now, for instance, you will do as I ask yet again because I have power over you. And like, you don't die as well, maybe? Fine, let's just get this over with. It's about time. What do I get to do? Oh, great. I'm really looking forward to doing more for your amusement. I'm not agreeing to anything before you tell me what it is. Uh, we'll go with this one because it sounds sarcastic in my head. Your sarcasm is unappreciated. <laughs> this could be so much fun if you'd allow yourself to see it. Well... No, Mabel Henderson needs to die. Not just any death, mind you, but an entertaining, well-thought-out death. You'll see to that. Very simple. Plenty of opportunity to show me what you're capable of. Okay. She'll never see it company coming. I don't want to do this, but I will. No, I won't do that. Ah, uh, middle one. Of course you will. And you never know. You might enjoy it. Is this where my Mabel turns dark side? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not, but like... I wonder how much karma I'm actually losing. Okay, where is Mabel? We have to figure out how to kill her amusingly. Mabel Henderson. Okay. I had my pit boy. I could look. And... Okay. Good day. Hi. Um... Nothing there. And I, I don't want to drink out of the toilet or the sink. I could go into the computer terminal and I'm guessing probably, let's see, initiate cleaning program, initiate security program, disable security screening. I suppose I could do one of those. What is the, this is the one where the oven wouldn't do anything before, but now it does. Oven, this gas of, this old gas oven rather, could be tampered with to knock the pilot light fixture loose, but that could be really dangerous. Fiddle with the pilot light? You fiddle with the pilot light and the gas pipe. The smell of gas fills the air. Okay. Where is Mabel? Hello, Miss Mabel. No, oh, now I gotta go find her. So I can get her to, I, what does she do? Like turn on the gas and the, does she turn on the stove and like explode herself? Well, hi there. Hi. Good day to you. Oh, I heard you bake really tasty pies. Can you make one for me? <laughs> well, sure I can, sweetie. Let me just go light the oven to get it warming up. Okay, I'll follow. Beautiful day, isn't it? Go, go make me a pie. Good day to you. Ugh, bye. Ha go on. I, I gotta save because I gotta, I gotta watch. Good day to you, young Hi, miss. hi, Mr. Robot. Oh, oh! I lost karma. Arrange a creative death for Mabel Henderson. Report back to Betty. The simulation prevents you from tampering with the body. <laughs> I am so horrible. There could only be one Mabel in Tranquility Lane. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, Mabel, always good for a laugh. I guess. Appliances certainly can be dangerous, can't they? Yeah. You are most resourceful, and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. Great. And now, we come to the last tasks that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. Whatever I wish. You're forcing me to do things against my nature, and I hate you for it. How do I know you're being honest? I can't wait. What do you want me to do? Middle one. I think you'll find that I've been quite honest with you thus far. You have no discernible reason to mistrust me. In the doghouse, out behind the abandoned home, are a mask and knife. Don the mask and become the pint-sized slasher. <laughs> Use the knife to eliminate all the residents of Tranquility Lane. Who the hell is the pint-sized slasher? He is a figure of myth, born of old campfire stories. Really? You will make him a reality. The residents will know you and they will fear you. When they have all been eliminated, return to me. Okay. But these people, they don't deserve to be punished. Why, why are you doing all this? Because I can, of course. I have total power here. I may do whatever I wish. And over these many years, I have found that I wish to see others suffer. Mm, but you could leave the vault, find somewhere else to live. Are you mad? I've been here for almost 200 years. My body is in no condition to be used for anything. And yet here in Tranquility Lane, I am as strong and youthful as I care to be. No, no, I think I'll stay here, thank you. And you, you will now do as you're told. The slasher awaits. The slasher awaits. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, um, behind the abandoned house, there's the dog. The abandoned house was next to the lemonade stand. No, this is not the abandoned house. This is the Rockwell house. This is the abandoned house. But I saw a dog house over there. There's the dog house, I think it means. Slasher knife added. Pint size slasher mask added. I mean, that's just crazy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay, let's go kill everybody. <laughs> this is so messed up. With my like kitchen knife. Oh, hi. Don't run from me, sir. Sir. Why? Oh, oh. Holy crap. Did they run into the basement? hurt me, but I'm the pint-sized slasher. I must kill you. <laughs> I'm losing so much karma, but like this whole quest is kind of ridiculous. I mean, they are in pieces. Chunks of... This is really messed up. The pint-sized slasher! Someone help me! Nope, no one's gonna help you. I've lost more karma. Who was this? Was this Miss M Miss Simpson? No, that was Jana Rockwell. Where is... Is Miss Simpson in her house? 
Did I see somebody upstairs? The pint sized slasher! Someone! I mean, look, I'm so. <laughs> this is so messed up! Okay. Alright, she's dead. Now, who's. Henderson. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am Mabel's already dead. Killed her. Anyone else in here? I don't think there's anybody else in here. Seems to be somebody in here, maybe? Dithers. Oh yeah, the lady who knew she was in a... I'm so tiny compared to everybody else. The old lady Dithers who knew she was in a... in an AI world. In a simulation. Do... Hmm. Am I still killing Timmy or Jimmy or whatever? No, please get away! Someone help me! They really are scared of me, aren't they? Oh no, God! Please. Goodbye, Mr. Newsbum. Ma'am. Ma'am, can you please hold still? Ma'am. No! All right. I have succeeded in killing everybody, Betty. What would you like me to do now? Well done. Well done. Most enjoyable. Most enjoyable indeed. I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. I did what you wanted, now let me out. That sure was fun. But don't we need our dad? Yes, yes. I suppose you've earned the right to do as you like. I shall miss your company. This has been a simply wonderful time. The door is now open. Through it, you may return to the real world and whatever inferior existence you have there. But... Where is my dad? I've given you permission to leave. I suggest you take the opportunity before I change my mind. I'm even being so gracious as to allow your father to exit as well. His presence here failed to amuse me some time ago. But where is my dad? I don't, I don't understand. I guess we're exiting? Military, all the all the imaginary stuff was um, removed. You've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Yeah. Oh, it's so good to see you, but what are you doing here? Saving you? I came here, what are you doing here? You could have been killed. I want answers from you. I came here to find you. I did come here to find you, but I also want answers. Cause I'm kind of mad that you abandoned me. Um, let's go with answers. You came all this way and risked your life for answers. They must be important to you. What are you doing here? So you've been lying to me all this time. What the hell is wrong? Yeah, what the hell is wrong with you? Why did you just leave me like that? That's where you belonged. You were an adult, capable of fending for yourself. And you had a good life ahead of you. Really? What's out here is my task, my responsibility. I never wanted you to have any part of this insanity. Your responsibility? What does that mean? Project Purity was underway long before you were born. There were many of us, including your mother, who devoted our lives to it. The idea of free, clean water for everyone drove us to succeed. So many sacrifices were made for that idea. My responsibility is to see it through to the end, to make sure those sacrifices mean something. Don't you want to take a break after what you've been through? What about me? What am I supposed to do? I mean, yeah, I'm your kid. Shouldn't you care what happens to me too? You did 
I feel like he did kind of just abandon Mabel. Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. You left me there without saying goodbye. What was I supposed to do? Screw the vault. I didn't need the place. We need an entry where it's like, yeah, dad, uh, the overseer went crazy and started killing people, including Jonas, and it was going to come after me next. Did that never cross your mind? That option is not here. So I guess we'll go with the first one. You were supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. But I suppose it's too late to go back now, isn't it? The overseer would likely have a shot on sight. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. Dad, I'm not going with you. I have other things to take care of. Yeah, let's... we'll meet you there. Eventually. Maybe. Really? You're not going to join me? Coming all this way after me, I'd have thought you'd want to help. I have to keep going. I can't stop now. I'm going back to Rivet City. Meet me there if you change your mind. I... It would be good to work with you, honey. Can we just talk for a minute? Yeah. Okay, I've completed Tranquility Lane, but let's let's give our dad a talking to. Of course, honey. What's on your mind? The waters of life is our new quest. Can't we just go back to the vault, back to the way things were? Uh, no. How could you just leave me like that? What the hell were you thinking? Let's try it again. I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would mm -mm. be. No, not so much. Why would you put yourself at risk like this? You have some sort of death wish? Is this about mom? Are you trying so hard because of what happened to her? Ooh, let's go with that one. Oh, my child. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. I think I understand. I'm glad we talked. Just forget it. Let's get this over with. Um, first one. So am I, my love. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. Hmm. What exactly is this project purity? I feel like we're not going to be able to give Dad a talking to like he kind of deserves. A anyway, what is this project purity? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Yeah. Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. Hmm, so what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came. But then I... We lost her. And I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay. And so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City. And Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. How did mom really die? In childbirth, right? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Hmm. What's the big deal about water anyway? I mean, Mabel, come on. <laughs> the vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. 
Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Hmm. Change my mind, I'll go with you to... I don't, I don't want it to, like, teleport me there. So I'm gonna just say I have to go, Dad. Be careful, sweetie. Oh, he's, like, running off. He's like, all right, peace. Bye. All right. What, what, I want to know what my karma is at. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still a good wasteland savior. And you know what? This just means that I can not have to find the good karma way Hello, of how to do Tranquility Lane, and I'm okay with that. I do wonder. T dithers. Status. Error. Are, are they are they all dead? I'm no longer authorized to use tranquility loungers. Oh, this was my dad's one. Right? This is Hen Mabel Henderson. Huh. Simpson. They don't seem to be dead. Elevated? Okay, so I want to go back up to the overseers one. Hmm. Because I think the overseer had. That's where Braun would be at, right? He wouldn't be down here with all the other plebs. Hello, ma'am. Hi! Alright, let's quick save. I like how there's a mat. I'm no longer authorized to use them. Ugh. Really? Oh, well. Well, that's, um... That's disappointing. I was kind of hoping to unplug him because, you know, let's complete our evil arc or something like that. But, yeah, okay. Um, data. Any new notes? Overseer's room password. Okay, that wasn't anything funny. The waters of life. Go to the Rivet City Science Lab. Well, we'll do that, but, um, not right now and probably not for the foreseeable future. Because on Sunday, I want to continue heading over to Girder Shade. And then after that, I want to head to Robco Facility. And then after that, I'm not really sure. I'm under zero impression that I'm going to be able to do all those things on Sunday, but um, maybe I can do some of them. But that's my plan for Sunday because I'm going to pause things here today. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Sunday with another new Fallout 3 video.